Hey guys, Tim here with a review of the Puget Systems Echo Pro. Stay tuned. So a big thanks to John Bach down at Puget Systems for letting me for the last couple of months run this system and kind of see what I think about, you know, Puget and their support the computers, I got to spec this out, so I didn't go like totally crazy, but you know, it's pretty high-end ITX system. Uh, and I wanted to do kind of the worst case acoustically and see, you know, how big of a deal all of the testing and everything that Puget Systems does helps this system. Cause I know other people that have this case and this setup and the noise levels that I thought were atrocious, frankly. Uh, and we'll talk about that at the end, but I really wanted to see a worst case scenario for, you know, fans and, and tuning and just like a whole system, like how, how much of a difference could they make? Uh, cause that's part of what you're paying for, right? I mean, anybody could build this system, uh, but you know, you're paying for the testing, the burn in, uh, the design of some of the, like the bigger systems have custom brackets and things they've done to help really quiet the systems down. Uh, and the warranty, like the big one is the warranty that's usually what you know adds a lot of extra cost to a system. So let's go ahead and the parts I spec'd out here, it's got an Asus H170i plus motherboard with an Intel 6700 uh, CPU, not a K part because frankly, uh, you're not really gonna overclock this system. If it sits at its turbo of 3.4 uh, gigahertz, it'll be totally fine. It has uh, 16 gigs of crucial DDR3, a EVGA uh, reference because you want that blower style cooler, which is, I think some of uh, when it really ramps up, I think you're hearing a reference cooler more than any fan in the system, uh, but it has a reference cooler 980 Ti because that's when I spec'd out this system, you know, that's part of, you know, the ongoing updating at Puget Systems is now you could get this system with a 1080 or a, maybe a different motherboard or maybe a different case or, you know, like you have to go look, I'll put a link uh, to the product page down below, but you know, they're ever changing, ever evolving, which is one of the nice things, you know, it's not just some stock set Dell computer that never changes. You know, they're always working to update a boot, you know, boutique system. So, uh, the other stuff that's in here, a Samsung 850 Evo 500 uh, gigabyte SATA, uh, SSD and a Silverstone, uh, ML 07 is the case with a 450 watt uh, small form factor Silverstone power supply and a uh, Silverstone AR06 slim cooler on the CPU. Of course, Windows 10 because the devil. And the biggest change here is every Puget Systems case swaps out the stock fans for the Noctua's. Definitely what I hear from this system more than anything is the reference cooler. And you know, you have to go with that cooler on this kind of case or it would, it would really overheat the case. I mean, that's when you go really small form factor ITX, that is kind of the trade off you make. If this was like in a define S or define nano S something like that, uh, I think you could go with like, you know, a bigger uh, CPU cooler and a uh, non-reference, video card and that would make quite the system down quite a bit, but it'd be like twice the size because this thing is, you know, roughly half the size of my Define Nano. So keep that in mind. Uh, what I definitely hear when it ramps up, and of course we're running uh, heaven in a loop back there uh, to keep it up to temps because I wanted it running the whole time we were doing the video. Uh, the blower is what I hear. Like you can hear the whoosh of the Noctua fans, like any fan moving a lot of air but it, you don't hear that, you know, fan whine. The video card, you definitely hear the fan whine. And like I said, you know, this is a very specific high-end machine uh, made, you know, I took it, I did take it down to the LAN for one of the days for uh, Tech Syndicate LAN, Tech LAN Syndicate, LAN Syndicate, whatever the hell it is, uh, and played with it down there. And down there, you can't hear it at all. Um, you know, if you have any kind of music running, like just on speakers, not even on headphones. You can't hear the thing at all. It sits down at my feet um, on a computer shelf where I've been testing it. And I never noticed, you know, right now I hear it cause it is like dead ear level. Um, but you know, when it was a little bit away from me, 
the acoustics were great. And frankly, you know, how many, how many times do I play a game that pushes the graphics like, uh, you know, the full benchmarks do at 4k, not very often. I'll be honest. I'm usually playing like Civ or something or doing video editing, in which case when I kick off my renders, I go do something else. So I'm never really close to the case. Uh, it handled like a champ in everything, as you would expect. Um, they're really good components and Puget Systems does a really good job verifying what's running, you know, what's working. You know, they don't just like, hey, you can go pick any, you know, motherboard. They, they actually vet the motherboards, work with the manufacturers, um, you know, make sure that when they ship these out, they have all the, the latest firmwares and drivers. Um, the Windows 10 OS build on this was actually, you know, mostly non-obtrusive. There's a couple of things there that I think, you know, you could probably take off. But, um, you know, other than that, the, the, it wasn't the bloatware that you see with a lot of system manufacturers, um, especially like MSI and Asus lately have been really bad about doing stuff like that. But, you know, the big boys like Dell and Lenovo and HP have always been horrible for bloatware. Uh, really nice custom image. Uh, nice Puget Systems background, uh, and you know it just it, it just works. It was really nice. It's nice and tuned. It had to do a couple updates when I when I plugged it in for the first time, uh, but very pleasant to like get a system and not have to install the OS yourself and set up everything yourself. Um, you know that is a time suck, and if you're you know running a business or a really busy person, I, I think you have to take you know some of that into account when you talk about the price of this system. So. We'll go there now since we talked about the parts and a little bit about the acoustics and what I think. Uh, it was $2,800. So not, you know, ridiculous, but, you know, it is a premium price. And like I said, with that, you're getting extra warranty. You're getting in-house testing, validation of parts before they build the system. Um, you know, in this case, you get, oh, and I think, you know, some of you guys that, that watch Barnacles have seen this. You know, he has a couple of Puget systems. Uh, oh, yes. Dust filters are there. I just don't have them on. But you get this big old book of, you know, the things they did. This is your, the build of your system. Everything in here is, you know, what happened for your build. And, you know, one of the things that I love about this. Oh, my Puget systems team. Oh, there's Houston. Sexy beard, sexy beard. Um, sorry, sidetracked by the beard. But, you know, you get, and we're not going to show you that page because it has serial keys. And we're not going to show you that page because it has gaming bundle codes. But, you get, you know, this like, there's a starter guide. There's, you know, your rear motherboard I.O. And this is all, you know, custom stuff that Puget Systems has put together. You know, how to activate your Windows 10, how to migrate your old data to your new PC. Um, all the build assembly notes built by Houston. Go watch him stream, you guys. I'll put the links down to, uh, to their Twitch. Uh, he does a stream, I think it's every Friday, uh, on a system build, which is pretty cool. But, so... Testing done by Kyle. And then quality control, which is the thing that I like the most. And this is, I get, okay. You can tell I'm a software tester or just a QA tester. I used to be a hardware tester a long time ago. Um, when I was going through, you know, down there and I'm, you know, everybody gets there and they're like, oh, you know, PC parts and 980 TIs and 1080s and, and oh, look at all this cool stuff. And I'm geeking out over like the FLIR camera and the acoustic chamber and the, you know, the 3D printers and the laser cutter to, that they use to do their custom parts. Um, this to me is really what you're buying, besides the warranty. You're really buying the fact that they are making sure the system is going to get to you and work correctly. Uh, you know, they're weeding out a lot of, you know, just the bad, you know, like bad hard drives and just, you know, squirrely, like, it's amazing what you can see on a FLIR camera. Like, you can see bad motherboards on the FLIR camera because it'll show you hot spots on chips that shouldn't be hot or, you know, overtly hot. So, you know, there's some stuff they can do that way. So here's, you know, in this case, and I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures up on the screen here, hopefully, because uh, there is no way you're going to see <laughs> what I'm holding in my hand. They do do benchmarks. They do show the ambient temperature, the CPU temperature, the GPU temperature, 
And, you know, like I said, guys, this is not a system that it's not fine tuned to be a super airflow system, but it does really well. Um, you know, never, never hits the thermal throttle on the GPU. Um, and that's what those two big knock to a fans get you. So, you know, there's lots of benchmarks in here. Well, there's actually, there's a lot of benchmarks in here, way more than I thought there was. There's a breakdown of all the parts and you know what they are and the support numbers for all of them. How to recycle your old PC, which is really important guys. Please do not throw away PCs. Um, that's a really, a really big deal. So like I said, with tax, because unfortunately in Washington, you have to pay sales tax. With tax, the system was just under $2,800. Now, is it worth it? To me, a system builder myself, it depends. So I don't have a FLIR camera. I don't have the ability to go, especially like on their, def their NAN or their Define R5s, like their big workstation systems, well, big. Their workstation systems, I hear don't have the ability to do the fine tuning that they can do. I can build a system that's 90% there. If you're using your system for work productivity, things that make you money, right? It's like the system I run at home versus the system I run at work. My work system is not as good as my home system, but it is under warranty for three to five years. And it, it is for a work, you know, workstation It has workstation components in it and is ridiculously expensive. Like we run big HP, like my team runs big HP, um, like Z eight twenties and, you know, big workstations. So in that case, you know, this is kind of a boutique workstation slash gaming build in wrapping all of this up. It's really up to you whether you think, uh, you know, this kind of thing is for you. I like the system. I think, you know, if I would, like I said, I would have a hard time replicating what they did without just copying them, right? They do all the testing, all the FLIR testing, all the, you know, the acoustical testing, especially, like I said, on the bigger systems, they actually make custom brackets so that they can point airflow exactly where they want it and really go after hot spots on like the motherboard and places where, you know, fans would just ramp up too much. It makes the whole system run better and quieter. That's, you know, it's, it's really, it's really up to you. So I know there's going to be some haters out there that are like, Oh, it's too expensive. And why don't you just build it yourself? Well, I, I covered why. So if you don't agree with those reasons, then you're probably not somebody that would be covered by those reasons. And if you do agree with those reasons, check out Puget Systems. I mean, like seriously, guys, you can, you can always go build your own system on there and see what the price would be and then see if it's worth it, you know, see what, what the difference in cost is and see if it's worth it for you to be, you know, just have a system show up that works versus, you know, oh, I got to go buy all the parts and then I hope I don't, you know, short something out when I'm building the system. And, you know, like I said, there's, there's lots of people, especially watching my channel that are really comfortable doing system builds. There's a lot of people out there that are really not comfortable even pulling a side panel off a computer to dust it out. So somewhere in between those two, I think is the market for this. Uh, and like I said, if honestly, if I were to go build this system with these parts, I would probably just buy it from Puget now. I like Puget Systems. I like the people there. This is not a paid advertisement. They just let me borrow the system. I actually have to ship it back to them later today. So take it with whatever you want, guys. I just, I really wanted to check out one of their systems. I really wanted to take a look at, you know, just the quality, honestly. And from there, who knows? Maybe my next PC I'll buy from Puget. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, Timmy Tech TV. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, by far the most active on Twitter and always TimmyTechTV.com. And this is Tim for, yeah, I say Timmy Tech TV a lot at the end of these videos. See ya.